How many pangolins are there in the wild? The answer is as elusive as the nocturnal scaly anteater, the most trafficked mammal in the world. In Uganda, conservationists are using artificial intelligence cameras to track them down and get real-time alerts of imminent threats. The AI technology essentially can send us an email within a few seconds of seeing a pangolin to tell us exactly where that pangolin is. So it enables us to focus on specific areas to prioritize our conservation efforts. It's a race against the clock. Pangolins, one of the world's most endangered animals, are being poached primarily for their scales which some believe have medicinal properties, although without robust scientific evidence. Illegal trade keeps happening even though all eight species of the pangolin family have been assigned the highest level of protections under the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. CITES Secretary General Yvonne Guerrero spoke with VOA via Skype. In Africa generally is the source country these days, going through the transit countries, often Singapore, and to destination countries like Vietnam, like uh, China. CITES bans the commercial trade of all pangolin species internationally, with few exceptions. But each member country adopts their own national laws. In that context, it can only urge countries to do more when it comes to enforcement and accountability. The punishments have to be much more severe, punished with serious jail time with serious fines. Citizens who browse the internet can report suspicious listings of pangolin products for sale to the Coalition to End Wildlife Trafficking Online, which works with tech companies to remove them. But finding concrete evidence of illicit trade can be tricky, says analyst Ellen Tyra with the Center for Advanced Defense Studies. The actual transactions or negotiations for the sale of wildlife might even be happening in direct messages, which cannot be viewed uh, externally. In the end, the most effective conservation programs are community-based, according to Adam Payman, director of wildlife programs for Humane Society International. In Africa, for example, they're really working with their communities and instead of just policing them, really sort of uh, uh, enforce the idea that um, you know, pangolins should not be targeted as bushmeat. Payments stress that pangolins can eat up to 70 million ants and termites in a year. Protecting them is vital to prevent the collapse of the greater ecosystems which they inhabit. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.